2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. And tonight our broadcast will be shifting to Atlanta, where we'll see the Hawks going up against the Brooklyn Nets. Last game for the Nets, they picked up the W against Miami. They were undefeated against this squad last season, going 3-0. We'll see if they can continue that dominance. Guys, we're going to see two powerhouse offenses. And coming down the tunnel, an opportunity here at the home for the Atlanta Hawks. Looking sharp and focused for the task at hand. And the game arrival, sponsored by Express. Dress like a pro. What a gorgeous nighttime view from high above the city of Atlanta. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. Tonight, it'll be the Brooklyn Nets going up against the Atlanta Hawks at State Farm Arena. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brett Berry. And from the sideline, David Aldridge. And a look at the recent power rankings. Some interesting stories here in the early part of December. If you look at the Hawks, they're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And right now, Brooklyn, they love the situation they're in right now. Playing very well, but looking ahead, they know there's still a lot left to prove. And let's go. Well, great story, D.A. Thank you. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. Harris is out there with Kyrie Irving. Then there's DeAndre Jordan. And it's Durant. And it's Chandler in at the power forward. And for the Hawks, on the wings, Herter and Reddish. Collins at power forward with Lan at center. And it's Young in at the point guard position. Chandler with the steal. Outside Irving. Jordan trying to free himself up. Yeah, put some students in the classroom because that's exactly how you move the ball. Kyrie terrific at spotting the open man, and then you got to get it to him. Young against Irving. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Maybe not a super athlete or at least a hyper athlete in the Westbrook mode, but Trey Young's ball handling ability does some incredible things for him out there on the floor to create space and help him change pace for those kind of angles where he can score. That's good from Young. And you love the aggressiveness of Young tacking off the dribble. And Brent, for his size, able to finish inside. Well, he can get to the inside. He can shake guys loose. It's his ability to see the floor, Kevin. Uh, but it still comes down to that range where Trey Young has confidence to pull up from just about anywhere to get his offense going. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Now the Hawks moving it the other way. Here's Reddish. Buries it down low. Traditionally, that's how you want to finish the break, right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Here's Irving. Misses off the left iron. Well, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. We're just halfway through the season. Brent, talk about the value of leadership and keeping everyone focus night in and night out a lot of that will come from your your coaching staff and the messaging but I will tell you what Kevin playing with a a star player that goes out there and does it night after night watching James Harden watching Russell Westbrook watching Steph Curry have the kind of unreal performances for the game 56 the game 68 you're just sitting there in amazement you want to step up and say you know what? I want to be there for you but but to me that may be the most important like every game they're there aren't they? They, every single game they are there 
They're excited to be there. They're excited for you to be playing, and they they raise the level of your attentiveness to being competitive on a nightly basis. And truly, those guys become inspirational to you. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Now, here is Young. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. Shot preparation is fantastic as Herter's able to get his feet set that time. Here's Irving. Jordan trying to free himself up. And that one's good, Irving. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? Are you asking me, G.A.? I... I'm not sure. And Irving with a clear path to the hoop. And Irving throws it down. Yeah, great to see Kyrie Irving getting after it on the defensive end, showing how quick those hands could be, not with the ball handling, but knocking the ball away. Here's Herter. He's guarded by Chandler. Pass to Herter. Three-pointer. Another three for Atlanta. Man, right off the bat, super sharp here offensively. Four of five so far. The pass to Irving. He kicks it to Chandler over Young. Chandler, no good. The Hawks leading. Fast break, the Hawks. Young's running. And there it is for him. Such a quick thinker in those spots. Trey Young has a knack for knowing where to get to. Young against Irving, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Alex Len picks one up. Brooklyn shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. First one falls for him. Not much of a surprise there. Kyrie, one of the better free throw shooters in the game and so hard to guard without fouling. And the Hawks with a completely new group on the floor. And a new group in for the Nets. Jared Allen's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Torian Prince comes in for Wilson Chandler. Lavert's checked in for Kevin Durant. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Joe Harris. Parker and the dunk by Parker. And that's ferocious. Parker utilizing that vertical and that timing to perfection. Here's Irving. He can't get it to go. And Atlanta will come the other way. Well, some people looking at Atlanta and their situation in terms of the rebuild and wondering what direction they would go. They've made some pretty solid picks. Got John Collins at the 19th pick as a foundation piece. And then obviously drafting Trey Young and Kevin Herter, relying on shooting on the perimeter. And things moving along swiftly in Atlanta. Odeon's Kuruks. He's checked in for the Nets. Levert with a wide open look. Nets with a new shot clock. The Hawks leading by four. To the middle. Here's Jones. And he makes good on the layup. And how about the awareness Hunter possesses? Understands when one of his guys has an opportunity. And John Collins Brent following that late in the first round shows you how deep that draft was. Now, some people thought it was going to be a slow rebuild in Atlanta. They've made some pretty good picks. Grabbing Collins, as you mentioned, and then last year picking up Trey Young and Kevin Herter in the draft and relying on some shooting. That number 19 has been pretty lucky so far for the Atlanta Hawks. And that one's good. Parker. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Dinwiddie outside. Good on the triple. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Atlanta's gone 2-2 two two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Pass to Parker. Outside, Jones. Passes to Turner. Just five on the clock. Back to Jones. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Hunter, no good. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Dinwiddie dishes to Allen. And then Allen slams it in. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. 
Dinwiddie against Turner. Parker outside. And there's the foul. And it's on Dorian Prince. That's his first foul. Here's Hunter. Another three for Atlanta. A very consistent three-point shooter. Hunter shoots it well from there because of how confident he is. And so it's Atlanta with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And when you consider how Atlanta is doing, your thoughts? Uh, well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. Nets trail by six. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. Setting the four for the Nets. Dinwiddie runs the point with Lavert flanking him. Jared Allen is out there with Torian Prince. And it's Karuch in at the three. Here's Parker. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Torian Prince. Uh, Jabari not scared of getting hit down there. Great at penetrating into the basket and then plunging into the contact. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. Each year, so many coaching changes. Brent, do you feel they generally get too much blame when things go wrong? I don't know if blame is the word, Kevin. That's just the easy out for a lot of organizations that want to make some changes. The, the main thing that's frustrating, I think, for the coaching fraternity is patience. You have to be realistic about the potential of your team and how much time it takes to grow what it is that coach's culture is all about. That's where teams sometimes lose out and give up on somebody a little bit early. But these guys go into it eyes wide open. Well, there's no question about it. And really good coaches in the NBA know that it might not last all that long. So they're going to be who they are. That's who you want to hire. Hire a coach who knows exactly who he is, both coming in the door and walking away. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, the Hawks have been in rebuild mode for the last couple of years, but this season brings a lot of optimism. Passing on Luka Doncic, the Hawks drafted Trey Young. It was much scrutinized, but Young came on down the stretch. His playmaking makes other people better, and also, they hope, will attract a free agent or two. Now the Hawks have added several rookies, starting with DeAndre Hunter. They believe they're poised to make some noise in the East. Kevin? They took that gamble with Doncic and getting Young. We'll see what happens. Thank you, D.A. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for Hunter. Jordan, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Chandler comes in for Rodion's Karuks. Parker playing for Coach K in college. He's got that pedigree as well as a great attitude. Down low, and Wilson Chandler with the slam. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Uh, you have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. Here's Reddish. Chandler with the rebound. Nets trail by six. Dinwiddie right side. KD looking around. Offensive rebound, Nets, and the shot is good. Well, DeAndre Jordan dominates this game on both ends around the glass. Young against Dinwiddie. Young pass to Herter. Pass to Reddish. Durant with the steal. For the three, connects from three-point range. Now just a one-point Atlanta lead. 
Yeah, it's funny you talk about players using their body to get into the lane. Kevin Durant using his arms to get into the lane starts the break. Young from outside. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitive. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Here's Jordan. Outside Durant. Lock at six. Here's Chandler. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Not afraid about going up with it on the inside. Chandler's aggressive on that play. The Nets shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Lenz checked in for Parker. And the Nets making a change here as well. Kyrie Irving's checked in for Spencer Dinwiddie. And coming from a background with player development for head coach Lloyd Pierce. Well, I think he's great at just being a, a cheerleader and a confidence builder for this young team. I believe that to be a, a good fit here in Atlanta. He brings a, a great hands-on approach and very, very important for him to think about player development as these young guys grow together. Irving finds Jordan. Collins against Irving. He nails it, and we're tied up. Irving's got 10 points in the game. More and more, Kyrie Irving is showing off how much body control he has, especially when he drives into the interior of the deep. Reddish with the ball. Now Chandler defending. A shot by Reddish, no good. Well, that's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release and a bit of an adjustment on the layup. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there, sure. For Atlanta, they've gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And let's take a peek at the players contending for a spot in the dunk contest this year. Each and every one of these guys can do amazing things around the bucket. And they will. Uh, I guarantee you that we're going to see things in this year's contest that we've never seen before. Th those fellas have some tricks up their sleeve for sure. And you look at Collins. He's definitely got a shot of making it to the top four slots this year. We'll just have to see if he ends up moving up. Listen, I know this guy is hoping he gets the opportunity to be a part of it this year, and it would be a huge disappointment for him if he's not able to showcase some of those phenomenal dunking skills. And so that's the breakdown as it currently stands. We'll be keeping you all updated with the latest info and, of course, our final list of contestants as we get closer. Yeah, and if they don't invite me to be a judge, I, I'm still going. Feels like Kyrie locked in right now. No let up in his offensive attack, and he's hot. And Atlanta calls their first time out of the game. And coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Damian Jones is checked in for Collins. Hunter comes in for Reddish. Sean Livingston, he's checked in for Kevin Herter. And Turner's subbed in for Young. And a new group in for the Nets. Jared Allen's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Torian Prince comes in for Wilson Chandler. Odeon's Kurups, he's checked in for Kevin Durant. And it's Lavert in for Harris. Boy, have they gotten hot here in the second quarter. No wonder they're in front. Livingston looking for the opening. Kicks it out to Jones. No good on the triple. And here's Brooklyn. They're on a 20 to 5 run. Irving misses. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot. And for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. And really, the defense fouling there to prevent the layup. But that's exactly what you need to do. The Hawks shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. throw good Livingston well, after nearly being out of the league Livingston has found an incredible role a true warrior 
Livingston hits both of them. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing. Initiating contact. Create opportunities. Get to the line. Irving drives in. Excellent D that time from Jones. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. At the elbow, Irving. Off with the layup. Hunter, no one around him. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. What a performance for Kyrie Irving. He has been the story for Brooklyn. What a quarter that saw them generate a great comeback effort and are now out in front with momentum behind them. And we'll be right back after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. What a game it's been for Kyrie Irving. He ended up with 17 points, two assists, and one steal. An extremely potent first two quarters for him. And from what we saw so far from the Nets, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Kyrie just has so many shots in his arsenal. Shows you the range. He can take you up the dribble in either direction. Terrific floater. A magician at the rim. It's rare to see that. And Shaq, what'd you see from Atlanta? Well, they remind me of Arizona. They were flat defensively. They didn't collapse at the end. They allowed over 50% shooting. I expect them to come out much more aggressive in the second half and try to take the lead early on. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game, he has been everywhere. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Collins at power four with Lan at center. Young and Herter make up the back, and it's Reddish in at the small forward position. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. And there's the call on DeAndre Jordan. That is his first foul of the game. The Hawks trail by five. Outside, Irving knocks it away, and the whistle stops gameplay. It's not a clean block shot, instead a shooting foul, and we'll see free throws coming up right here. It's really all about Trey Young and his skill, and you know how many hours that takes, Kevin. I mean, he is putting time in the gym to show you what he's capable of out here on this floor, and he makes it break. look easy. Take a break. Two shots, and the first one drops. And Brent for Trey Young. Remarkable how his game has grown. It's going to be interesting over the next three to five years what kind of layers Trey Young can add to his game. We know he is a prolific shooter. He's got deep range. He's a good playmaker. But how good does he want to be? We're going to find out how complete he can be. Basket, good. A yeah, reliable shot there from Chandler on the mid range. Adept at cashing in from there. Young against Irving. Here's Herter. Len passes to Herter. Now here's Reddish. Tight defense on him. Over Harris. The kick out to Young. And finally they hit one. Young's got 11 points. Finally, they get one to drop. That's one of their first four here in the third. Durant down low. He's guarded by Collins. Deadly from every spot on the court. Durant is both prolific and relentless. Young finds Len. 
Irving against Young. Over Irving. Young's shot is off. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Yeah, see the coach? He's got that frown on his face. I think we know why. Not a high percentage look. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Here's Young. He's got 11. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Parker's checked in for the Hawks. Dinwiddie's checked in for Brooklyn. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Herter. And the layup's good off the glass. He's got 10. You know, Brett, there may be more of an emphasis on team defense than ever before. Who are some of the better help defenders that you've scouted in the NBA? I, I put Rudy Gobert number one on this list because when you think about help defense, usually you're yelling it from the perimeter. And the reason that you're yelling it, Kevin, is that the player that you were trying to instruct or move a certain way has gotten by you. And the help call out is for somebody to be at the basket. Rudy, oh, yeah. Go Rudy Gobert does that better than anybody in the league. That's why the Utah Jazz have a, a chance to grow and, and go deeper into the playoffs. They got a back line of defense and Gobert is pretty tremendous. You love the guys and, and Beverly might be in this category and Smart might be in this category. They can guard down low. They, they give a little hedge out top and they get back down again where you're supposed to be. Well, those guys do a great job of harassing out there. Yes. Yeah, so it's a, yes. a little bit different in terms of help defense, on-ball defense the way that Beverly and Marcus Smart and Paul George to that end are able to, to pester guys. That's one thing, but I'm yelling help because something's gone terribly <laughs> wrong. Give me Gobert to fix that. The Hawks trail by nine. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, when Trey Young was in college, he was known for his long range shooting. But Young says the people who know me time best out, out. know that I'd rather get an assist than any other Hard. stat. I pride myself on making the right play. Knowing your teammates get joy and excitement from playing with you is all I care about. Kevin? That's great to see. Thank you, DA. Atlanta making some changes. Damian Jones is checked in for Collins. Hunter comes in for Reddish. And it's Livingston in for Kevin Herter. And a new group That's in for free. the Nets. Jared Allen's checked in for DeAndre Not Jordan. Right. Torian Prince comes in for Wilson Chandler. Odeon's Kurooks. He's checked in for Kevin Durant. And it's Lavert in for Harris. Atlanta's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Yep, it counts. Now just a five-point Brooklyn lead. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Dinwiddie dishes to Allen. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. Here's Levert. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got assist number five here tonight. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. The pass to Hunter. Here's Jones. 143 left here in the third quarter. Banked in off the glass. Jones has got six. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Double team on Parker. Here's Young. And the layup fall. 17 points in the game. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Here's LaVert. No good that time. And Atlanta will go the other way with it. It's off to Charlotte for him after this game as they take on the Hornets. That's game one of a three-game road trip. Here's Young. No good there. Dinwiddie with some nice D. Pass to Levert. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Allen kicks to Levert. Latrey. Rebound by the Hawks. And if they're thinking they can get a two for one here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to what they're going to run here. Got to run a good play. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. Passes it to Livingston. Poked away. 
And stolen by Prince. It's three on three on the fast break. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Atlanta making some changes. Lens checked in for Damian Jones. And Turner's subbed in for Young. And a switch here for Brooklyn. Irving's checked in. And Prince comes to help. Pass to Hunter. Takes a three. Sinks the triple. Hunter's got his second best. That's an unselfish play. Evan Turner with eyes up and delivers. Right side, Irving. From deep three-point range, missed. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. It's the Nets up by five. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Atlanta. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. So for Brooklyn now, Karis LeVert is out there with Prince. Then it's Kyrie Irving. Then there's Allen. And it's Dinwiddie in at the two guard. Len passes to Reddish. Six on the shot clock. Over Irving. A shot by Reddish, no good. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. Irving attacking. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now 8 for 14. Kyrie not backing away from the contact there. In fact, welcoming that one, tricked you into it. And so it's Livingston bringing it up now for Atlanta. They trail by 7. Here's Parker. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on Torian Prince. He misses the free throw. Some changes for Brooklyn. Jordan, he's checked in for Torian Prince. Kevin Durant comes in for Karis LeVert. And Harris subbed in for Dinwiddie. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. And the Hawks making a change here. Herter's checked in. And here's Livingston. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Here's what the Hawks have lined up on their schedule. On Sunday, they'll tip off a road trip in Charlotte where they'll take on the Hornets. And then on Tuesday, they'll face off against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. You know, most teams might get worried at a long road schedule like this one, but they've been so good away from home. I think they might be looking forward to it. You have to respect what this team can do when they're in your building. Atlanta making a switch here. Collins has checked in. Yes, that goes in. And, and won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. The Hawks trail by seven. The pass to Len. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Livingston, that's good. And hey guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Outside Irving, wide open. Again, the Nets for two. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Livingston kicks to Reddish. Takes it from 10. Jordan with the rebound. 
Jordan's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And here's Harris from the arc. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got three assists in the game. He's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. I'm not sure what the defense collectively was thinking there. you got to know where he is at all times. Trey Young, he's checked in for Atlanta. Wilson Chandler's checked in for the Nets. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Let's it go from deep. A shot by Reddish, no good. That's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. Jordan out to KD. Over Collins. Unloads from nine. Jordan trying to free himself up. And Chandler with a nice bucket inside. Chandler's got the lead up to 12 now for the Nets. Pass to Reddish. Will it go? And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, easy call. At the line of the Hawks, Tim Reddish. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. Nets leading by 10. Outside Irving. Puts up a three. Len grabs the board. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. And the fourth quarter just has not been kind. Only one bucket and five attempts. Durant just inside the line. Chandler, no good. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. And good that time. Well, the more that Herter attacks like this, the more off balance the defense will become. Irving for three. Hands it from downtown. Irving's got 26. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Time Same out, thing out. this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Atlanta calls timeout. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. I mean, he continues to burn them with his foreign. The coaching staff's going to have to come up with a different approach defensively. Allen's checked in for Jordan. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Thank you, guys. I got a chance to listen in on what Lloyd Pierce was saying to the team. No surprise, he was not happy with the turnovers. He told them, we are giving this one away, guys. We've got to be more careful with the ball. Play within the offense and get good open shots. Kevin? 158 left to play in the final quarter. Young finds Collins. Young against Irving. Lets it fly. Atlanta again missing. And guys, you've heard of overpassing. Well, that shot was an example of underpassing. Maybe they can find a way to establish some rhythm in the next few possessions with the extra pass. 139 left in the fourth quarter. Durant for three. Len grabs the board. Len's got his fifth rebound in this one. To the inside. Collins. And finished off by Collins. you got to keep the ball moving, and that time Herder's pass leads to an open look. Timeout called the Nets. They're ahead by seven. There's 126 left in the fourth quarter. Durant kicks to Irving. A three-pointer off the mark. The Hawks trail by seven. There's the double team with Allen. Young pass to Collins. That one, no good. The Nets have gotten into a pretty good groove going six of ten here in the final quarter. 
to the paint. Here's Chandler. Collins with some nice D. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Here's Len. And it's sent back by Allen. And here's Harris from the arc. No good. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. And I think they realize any hope of a comeback is gone. Well, realistic at this stage of the game, they're going to lose this one, but will they take something from the loss? And he gives that rim a good tug on the way down. Oh, that's how you drive your point home right there. And that's an intentional foul. It's the first, and that increases their lead to six. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a seven-point game. And the lead Starting. getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. Atlanta calls timeout. They're trailing by seven. 29 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Harris on the double team. Passes it to Len from deep. A rebound by the Nets. 20 seconds left in the game. Here's Irving. So it's the Nets picking up the win. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really... Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brent Berry, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.